Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Well, good morning. Moderate to heavy snow continues to come down through parts of our area early this morning, and road conditions are still going to be treacherous as we go right through that morning commute. If you have to do any traveling this morning, you really need to allow for plenty of extra time. Take it slow on the roads. Here's a live look. This is Interstate 81 in northern Lackawanna County. This is right near Clark Summit. Take a look. The road still snow covered. It's still going to be slick. It's still going to be icy. And visibility is also still an issue at this point. But the good news, and there is some good news here, is that we are seeing the signs of this coming to an end. We still have moderate to heavy snow north of Interstate 80, but south of 80, this snow is at least beginning to taper off. Still a few light little flakes left over here and there. But in the far reaches of the northern tier, northern Wyoming Valley and the northern Susquehanna Valley, that snow is still coming down at a pretty good rate right now. So let's take it in for a tighter view. Halstead, Gibson, Springville near Lemon, just north of Tunkhannock. You can see those darker shades of blue in there. That's those snowfall rates of one, two, even up to three inches per hour. Now, because a lot of this is beginning to taper off, it's certainly going to help that this is speeding up and moving out of here that most of us won't see these heavier bands of snow stick around for all that much longer. But the road conditions right now, everywhere across the entire area, anything that's untreated is going to be snow covered. And even roads that have been treated overnight, they're still going to be slick this morning. So allowing for plenty of extra time, look at what's happening with visibility. It's down to a couple of miles, even less than a mile in some spots this morning. So we have a dual threat here, slick roads and reduced visibility with the temperature in the 20s and teens. We're going to find some icy spots as well, even on those roads that were treated. Wilkesbury and Scranton were at 27, Mount Pocono 19, Hazleton were at 23, and Sealands Grove 25 this morning. Here's our nor'easter. There's that main area of low pressure slowly moving off to the northeast. The bulk of that snow has worked its way to the northeast. You can see down to our south and west. We will eventually dry out. Just have that cloud cover linger through the remainder of our day today. Let's burn through future casts, and there's that snow tapering off. By 6, 7 o'clock, we're really beginning to see those heavier bands begin to break down, but still some lighter snow bands here and there. That continues to move out of here late this morning, and by the time we get to the start of the afternoon, this is done, and the rest of our day today, we end up with just some cloudy sky. Now, snow totals, far northern tier, we've been getting some ridiculous numbers in. Some we're still trying to confirm, but right now, a train spotter in Alba reporting 26 inches of snow. Due shore, we saw 19 inches of snow where the snow is actually still coming down. Du Bois Town, 16 inches of snow. Mill Hall, 15, and Bloomsburg, right around 13 inches of snow. Here's your eyewitness weather forecast. We're near 30 today. Snow tapers off the rest of the morning. Tomorrow, we'll actually work on getting some sun back, but the temperature still sits near 30. Clouds and sun on Saturday at 34. A rain or snow shower Sunday, we're near 40. Monday and Tuesday, a few lingering snow showers will also sit right near 40. And then Wednesday, just some more lingering clouds. And we can always download the Eyewitness Weather app to get our latest updates on the weather. Forecast is always available at pahomepage.com. So just those roads this morning, Kelly. I mean, no matter how many times the plows went through overnight last night, they're still going to be slick. Yeah, and some icy spots as well. Something to look out for if you are heading out this morning. All right, Stefano, thank you. We'll come